Charlie Fumi Nation, how are you? How are we? <laughs> My name is Fumi Desaluvold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you guys are so very welcome indeed. Are we loving the beat? Are we loving the turban? Are we loving the fit? This turban is by Alori. I'm going to put her Instagram handle below. I went to the hair studio and when I tell you I am going to go back to my natural hair. I'm going back home, baby, and it feels good. I have found this fabulous hair studio and I think that it's time. It's time. And I'm gonna put the link below. It was a fabulous vlog. I went with my lovely publicist, Karin, and while I was there, I met Adelori, and she makes these fabulous turbans. And I got this one. Do we live, do we love? The makeup is really simple, really simple. Just a little bit of a shadow because I am packing up here and just a lip gloss, Juvia's Place, discount code. Remember, I've been showing you guys, but not all of you watch every single episode. But right now I'm all about, actually, <laughs> they are all black brands. I have right here Uoma, and this was a gift for me from Christina. Ooh, baby. Look at the highlight. Look at the love. So what I do, just to put it, uh, just gives me that just enough glow. I live for it. So I put it on my chin, put it on my top of my cheekbones right here. Let me just do a little bit so you can see the difference. Oh my God, it gives me life. A little bit on my nose, and then right up there above my brow. And it just gives me that, for me, you're awake, you're alive. I cannot live without highlighter. And I like it to be very natural-esque. It just really makes me look cute. I like it on me. You guys let me know because I do glowy makeup and I do matte makeup. This is kind of like glowy makeup, yeah? And this is by Uoma. It was a limited edition and it was coming to America. I think that was the collection. Uoma, if you're listening, send me PR. I love your brand. Gorgeousness. Live for it. The coffee shop. Juvia's Place. Beautiful. That's all that I do, just a little bit, and we're good to go. And then I have Rebellious Nudes by Colored Win. Just look, discount code for me, discount code for me. Yes, 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 yes. This necklace I got when I came to see Tiana. Remember Tiana from Real Housewives of Lagos? I went to see her at her launch, a pop-up shop in Westfield, Stratford, and I got this. There was another beautiful lady there, and she was selling these beautiful African necklaces. I got for Ula, I got for Adrian, and I got for myself. This also is by a fabulous African designer, Nigerian as well. It's a one-of-a-kind beautiful blouse i'll put her link below and so here i am we are doing an episode today of which you guys harassed me for about 10 days you were in my dms you were on twitter you emailed me you were on it you wouldn't let it go davido a nigerian recording artist has gotten a sixth woman pregnant and you guys wanted my opinion on it. So I said, okay, why not? <laughs> now wah, now real wah for Davido. <laughs> Another woman don't get belay for Davido. <laughs> and I think that it's a unique situation, ish, 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 because his baby mamas are spread all over the world. Here in England, in Paris, in America, in Niger, I think he has like four baby mamas and he's about to have his sixth or seventh child. I do not know. So the big bomb of it all is Anita Brown. Anita Brown is an American 29 year old influencer, gorgeous chocolate sister. So Anita Brown met Davido in 2017. She met him in Dubai at a club, at a party, and he invited her back to his hotel room. And that's how it kind of kicked off. 
they went back and forth with their relationship because Davido, of course, is an international superstar and he has concerts all over the world. She's based in New York, but she would travel to go and see him, concerts, all of that. By 2019, he decided to settle down with Choma. And he even had a song where he said, Anita, I'm not playing with you no more. I don't want you. I'm going to settle down with Choma. Unfortunately, and I did a story about them, Choma and Davido had a beautiful boy, beautiful boy, who passed away by drowning in their swimming pool. And I can only imagine how that can change the trajectory of any relationship. It either bonds you and you're closer or it divides you. And so Davido and Choma came to America Perhaps they had to get away from everything. You can imagine their home swimming pool. Because this incident of their son happened at their home, at their home swimming pool. I know for one, I just couldn't sit there, look out in the swimming pool. It would just be too much for me. So they went to America. In coming back to the US of A, Davido re-established his relationship with who? Anita Brown. Up until Anita let Davido know that she was pregnant and she had no intention of getting rid of the child. She said, I'm 29. You know what? I'm going to keep this baby even if I can't keep you and I'm not even looking to get married to you. I can relate because at 29 was when I really started to seriously think about settling down, having a child, getting into a relationship. So Davido was upset about that because they had had the understanding that she would take, you know, protection so that she didn't get pregnant. But she did. She is. And so he blocked her on all platforms. Some way, somehow, Gist lovers. <laughs> gist lovers can't carry the gist though. Gist lovers can't carry the gist. Now so they can't blast them for inside their website. Now so all Davido fan come say, hey, who be that? Uh-uh. And the girl self now American. Now they come gone after Anita. Come abuse them. Come tell them say, now be husband snatcher. To which Anita says, say, what now? What you saying, girl? He married? And yes, he is married. He married Choma in a private ceremony after the passing of their child. Which is a terrible thing. I don't wish that on my worst enemy. I really don't. As a mother today, I don't wish it on my worst enemy. But they did get married. And it was private. I heard about it because I really started to follow Davido after the loss of the baby. How is he doing? As a matter of fact, I covered him on the red carpet for the BET Awards. And I loved how he came out and he performed. And I said, God bless him, you know, mind over matter. Because life does move on. So that was how Anita now found out that he married. And she said, oh, wait, one minute. I did not know brother was married. Don't come for me. I mean, I, I, I got a baby inside of me. But you know what? I did not know that he was married. And do you know, I believe her. I also believe that she had said to herself, I'm not really checking for him like that to get married. Because I think in a way she knew he can't commit to her. So let me not even play myself. But the baby will be mine that I can keep. Needless to say, the whole something catch fire because of what? Because Davido fan, no let this thing die. That is how the gist become hot, 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 hot. So Anita came out to come and, you know, express herself. What really kills me is this, this married man narrative that y'all are dragging like, oh, I'm done with the married man. Cut it out. No, I did not know he was married on God. Did not know. Like... Go to his page. Does it look like he's married? Like, I'm confused. Like, you know, rest in peace to the child. Like, people knew about the baby, but nobody knew he got married. I'm in America. Nobody here knew. Sorry. Sorry. Nobody knew. Nobody knows. It's not on a blog. It's not a big thing. If a, a man ain't telling me, then I don't know. 
and I was I wasn't checking for it because I'm not looking to get married. I'm not I'm not looking for that right now. So that that wasn't something that I was in search for. I wasn't digging up anything like that. So no, I didn't know. I actually found out after the fact, and then I found out after the fact that I'm actually pregnant. So y'all are way off. Like cut it out. Like never. Maybe a fornicator, never an adulterer. Calm down. Nobody's out here trying to allegedly mess up somebody's marriage that was already messed up but that's none of my business but anyhow like nobody's here is trying to do that i don't want to take nobody's place because there can only be one me there's only one nina the elite one anita brown i don't want to be nobody else i don't want nobody's spot i'm gucci like i literally focus on my businesses i focus on working hard and doing me like this happened like it happens like and like and what I'm still favored, I'm still blessed, God still loves me. Like, and that's what I wanna set the record straight because I'm not gonna get bullied on Instagram and everybody's talking about things they don't know. And because I've been being quiet and I've been being peaceful, it's only getting worse. And I'm, I'm trying to save face for other people, but then it's defaming my name and I'm not having that. So this is why I'm here. I don't need clout, my loves. Y'all can't give me clout. And then I also saw that the voice now said that, ah, Anita, when you come to Niger, no problem, we get together, will this, will that. All these screenshots, when I tell you, the screenshots, the tea, the details, the receipts, everything came flying out. Oh, you want is my hunger. All you need is my pain. Nothing in between ever met you love. When it was thunder, fire lit in the sky as to lead us straight. Now heavy rain pours out of you and me. Come back, correct. We also had Davido's cousin. Davido's cousin came and said, if he is an Adeliki, we will acknowledge that pregnancy and we will do the right thing by you, Anita. Anita said, you know, she, she's not feeling that because Davido had come back to her to say, tell them it was lies, tell them that somebody came into your DMs or whatever, which she did. But when Anita asked him for money, and he did not show up with the coin, she decided to come out with the whole tea herself. I'm gonna stop there for a hot minute. Anita, my darling, and I'm coming to you as a Nigerian. Like I said, you're a beautiful girl. I wish you all the best. I don't have anything um, bad to say about you. I can't, I don't really know you. And if you hadn't stood up for yourself, I really wouldn't have known much about you per se in relation to personality. What I love about you is that you're very strong. You're speaking up for yourself and that's fabulous. The child inside of you is not all yours. He's half Nigerian of which you made that choice. It doesn't matter whether you got pregnant accidentally or not. You chose to keep the child. That child needs to know his or her bloodline. And so where you think that this child is all yours, he or she is not, I mean, stay in America or whatever, but there will come a time and you will realize and it will be very humbling for you that right now you can't see anything right now. But once the child is born, 
there's a humility that is attached to you as a mother because you now will do everything and anything for the child. It will not be about money. It will be about your child having cousins. It will be about your child knowing his other side of the family. It's about happiness for your child that you cannot foresee now, but I promise you it will be there. So when you are talking, you're like, you know what? No, don't play that. Don't get excited. You just sit down here on God. I didn't really know. I didn't know that he had another woman, that he was married. I mean, we all knew about the baby, so sorry about that. But we didn't know about this. Anita, you're talking a little too much, too much with authority. And that's not going to work for you, darling, if you go to Nigeria. I promise you from the airport, you will be all the way regulated and checked. You can do it in America, but you cannot do it in Nigeria. You cannot. If the Adeliki family approach you a second time, I'm telling you, sis, take it. Take it for your child. Not about you. Don't be too into your feelings because it's not going to work for you all the way like that. I promise you. Thirdly, this is a mess. You already know that, right? You already know that, right? Okay. It's a mess because you're not doing it for clout. You're not doing it for this. You're not doing it for that. Then just enjoy your pregnancy. And no matter what, and I understand, no matter the pressure people have on you to declare the pregnancy or the authenticity of the bloodline of that child, you do not have to go on social media, sit on a toilet, pee to show that's an authentic pregnancy test. They can go straight to hell, but your dignity has to be intact. You are about to be a mom. You don't have to do all of that. It was not necessary. A blood test can do all of that. Davido, yes, you are the father. And it would have confirmed that he is the father. You don't have to publicly present yourself like that. It's just too wild for me, American or not. You don't have to do all of that to show strangers sitting in the comfort of their homes with a fake name on Instagram, with no pictures on social media to prove to them that, yes, this is Davido's child. Davido slept with you. Davido slept with you without protection as you did him. He knows. As a matter of fact, in the screenshots, he also declared how many women he has gotten pregnant and they have gone ahead and terminated the pregnancies. This is not new news. Anita, if I were you, I would just relax and enjoy my pregnancy. Do not be stressed. Pregnancy is no joke. The pregnancy journey, you also have to make sure that you are zen because you don't want anything to happen to the baby. Do not say that Auntie Fumi did not tell you. Don't respond to nothing because you're responding too much and you shouldn't do that. And in the process of you responding, you also expose to us because nobody knew, even G's lovers, we love G's past anybody. They did not know that Choma is pregnant. After the loss of her child, She's pregnant now with another child, with Davido. So, Anita, bye-bye. I'm sure we'll see you when you've had the baby. Choma, come and have a seat. Hi, buddy. Congratulations. Mm? My small sister, Una, well done. Bele, sorry. It's been a journey for you. Congratulations on your new journey to motherhood once again. I am sorry that this has to happen while you are pregnant because I just told somebody that you did not have to hear about that they have to be careful about their pregnancy journey and so I extend that to you. Choma, Not all men are husbands. Not all men are fathers. Not all men 
understand the responsibility of being a father and a husband. Just the other day, I was talking about Shaquille O'Neal, who said that his job will always protect, provide, and love his ex-wife, Shawnee, of whom they share five children. They are divorced, and she has gone on to marry someone else. In that episode, he expressed how sorry he was, and he regretted losing Shawnee because he did some really crazy, stupid things. And so he blew it and he blew that relationship with her. Shaquille is in his 50s now, as am I. And so upon reflection, you look at things that you should not have done. But at that time, he didn't care. This is your second baby, God bless you. Also known as a rainbow baby. And your son will forever watch over you, forever and a day. And ultimately, you will be back with him someday, all of you together. I want you to seriously, seriously, seriously think about your mental health, your physical health, your emotional health, and your self-worth. As you carry this child, you have to understand that you are its guide. And everything you show him or her will change or shape the trajectory of how they look upon relationships for themselves. What you cannot get from the father of this child in your tummy, you will get from this child in whole. Sometimes you can't push a square peg into a round hole. Not because you haven't tried and not because you haven't loved him beyond measure unconditionally, but because he was never the guy. Because you are meant for someone else. It's going to take some time for you to understand and accept. It's a very bitter pill to swallow because you swore for forever, regardless of whatever he did. And you know, we are Niger. You know how our people are. You have to stay inside that marriage. You will suffer, 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 oh, but you must stay inside that marriage. No, 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 no. You don't have to stay anywhere that is not really feeding you, nourishing you, and keeping you loved, protected, and provided for, spiritually, emotionally, mentally. Money, fame, what is that? What is that? I tell you here now, humbly, I'm receiving bits and pieces of fame. Every day when I go out, I bump into fulmination. Every single day. And I am invited now to film premieres. I'm invited VIP here and there. I'm invited to get this. I get a lot of stuff for free. It's amusing to me because I haven't changed. I'm still the same person. It's just that people are now looking at me differently, but I'm still the same person. What is fame if I don't have Ula? What is fame if I don't have Adrian? Money, what is money? You can feed yourself, you can clothe yourself, you can shelter yourself. Everything, if it burns in a fire, does it change me? No. I want you to really go to the core of you. Your time, no pressure. And you ultimately decide what you want to do for yourself. And I don't think there's anybody standing on two feet that will blame you either way. And we are not in a position to. I support you if you stay with Davido. I support you if you decide to leave. It's your journey. And it takes a long time to understand that you can love certain people from a distance because they're just not good for you. Because you just can't handle it. 
or you know what, it's just become a little too much. Congratulations on this beautiful child. You deserve it. You deserve it. And I'm so sorry for a lot that you go through. I'm so sorry to a lot of my Nigerian sisters. So we move on to who? Davido. Davido, how na day? Now wah for you. Now wah for you, Davido. Eh? Which one on a day? Woman just they carry belay for you left and right. Left and right. This one catch belay. That one catch belay. Anywhere you go on tour, you must get somebody pregnant. Why? Why? What's the thrill? I don't get it. Don't you ever think about your health? Don't you ever think that you can get sick? Don't you think that you can get AIDS? That you can get HIV? That you can get something else? Doesn't your third leg rest? Are you not tired? I don't know, man. I don't know. But you know what, Davido? You see, Nigeria babes, we're different because our culture teaches us to respect even when you don't deserve the respect. But you see, Anita, Anita is American. She will tell you to F off, which is telling you, you and your family, and she's going to give you a good headache because she's not playing those games. You know why? Because she does not know our culture. Because she's an American where you can express yourself. They tell you, speak up. <laughs> and from what I hear, she's coming to Niger. You better get ready. You see how you don't put Wahala on your head. You don't put weight in, you don't put wahala on your head. And this Pekin is coming just now, just, just, just now. I just saw you at the BET Awards looking fabulous. That top was fire. But what about trauma? And that's my thing. You know, you guys, if you say, I don't want to get married. I just want to play around. I just want to be free. I will take care of all of you all. That's different. But it's the deceit. The deceit is not necessary with us women. Do you not know that we are FBI, CIA, MI6? It was your own fans took them out. Go tell them, say, when I get wife. Your own fans, Davido fans, they took them out very well. Tell them everything. Now Anita come say, say waiting. Because Anita don't know now, Anita day in New York. This life and world that we live in of social media, we are neighbors now. I don't even have to go to Niger to know what's happening in Niger. I don't have to go to LA, California, to New York to know what is happening over there in Manhattan. Go to social media, boom, 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 and I got it. I'm here in London and you don't even know for how long. I swim in and out and I understand the mentality of Yankee and I understand the mentality of Gidi. I understand the mentality of Americans and Nigerians and Africans. I lived in both. I understand it very well. Anita doesn't give a blazing flying F about your ass. She really don't. And she's going to be a thorn in your side. And you know what? The Niger babes are going to use her and weaponize her to you for all of the dirt that you have done in Niger to all of the other babes. And while we're talking, we have another babe in Paris declaring that you got her pregnant. Well, guys, um, I am Well, the girl in Paris, we oui, 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 keep quiet. He didn't get you pregnant. You slept with him. You opened your legs, knees to the ceiling. You slept with him unprotected. He didn't get you pregnant. And I keep on telling you girls, it doesn't matter about the guy. Some of you said in the comments, oh my God, he should use protection first. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Doesn't matter whether he uses or he does not use. Who is going to end up taking care of the children? You. Your life is going to be cut short 
Because when I tell you when you become a parent, oh my God, you think you have free time? Not anymore. And whatever time you got, you're using it wisely. Anita don't know. She wants a baby now, going around doing the bikini shots and everything. You better have support, sis. You better have support because you're going to need it. Promise you, when the baby's not feeling well, where are you going to go? Really? Miss France, it's the same thing for you. We did not even hear about you. And then you came out. I just, I'm not fame hungry in this. No, no, that, that's not the word. I am not, um, or oh, what's the word? When you see somebody famous, you have to, what, what was it? I'm, I, I don't, I'm, I don't, I'm not swayed by celebrities. Oh, I'm not. I'm a celebrity. I dated a basketball player. I didn't tell you. I think I told you. Big time. He's still around. You'll be shocked. You'll be like, fool me no. Yes, I did. Oh my God. Where didn't we go? Where didn't he take me? Private jets, helicopters, private dinners. I saw it all. I was fabulous. Buy you everything and anything. I spent the night. And as I was leaving, I saw the cars. Because it was, it's, um, the road leads to only his house. He bought everything around it. And as I was leaving, I saw the cars. And I was dripped in Chanel. I was drenched in Chanel. Because I think three, four days before that, we had gone to their standalone boutique. Anything I so much as looked at, I took it all. It felt like the cheapest, it felt cheaper than the Gucci outfit I wore the other day. That is fake. It's a fake outfit. Wait, let me see. Do I have it here? Because remember I told you I'm packing. I don't know where it is. Is it still here? No. Oh, God, I can't find it. Hold on. Aha, uh -huh, uh -huh. here it is. Than the fake Gucci outfit I wore. The Chanel that I wore in the back of a private limousine back to Manhattan. I used to live uh, between 1st and 2nd on 34th Street. And I just felt cheap. I never went back. I never went back. I never went back. It was, what was the point? It would be a long history of disappointments. I would have been a baby mama and I hate to use that word because it's so disrespectful to the children but I would have been. I might have been on basketball wives. My life would have changed. The trajectory of my life would have changed and I would never have found myself and if I had found myself maybe it would have been a bit too late. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Davido why? Why? For what? For what? That you want to have children all over the globe? Okay. Anita did not shame you. You shamed yourself. You shamed Choma. And by extension, Choma is feeling the shame at a time when you should be by her side because she is with child yet again after this terrible incident of which I don't even want to bring up again because it's so heart-wrenching. Why are you guys so heartless? Why are you so wicked? Or is it why are we so stupid? Why are we staying for these guys? Why is it that you just cannot go with a guy that really loves you, appreciates you, and respects you? Because that's the bottom line. My babies all the way in America, they tell me, Antifumi, Antifumi, Antifumi. In Nigeria, Antifumi, Antifumi, Antifumi. In Cote d'Ivoire, Antifumi, Antifumi, Antifumi. But we are all women. We have the choice. We ultimately make the choice because they will only do what we allow. If you open your legs and say, come, of course he will. It's sweet. It's juicy. It's hot. It's soft. Of course he will come. He don't care. As, as far as he's concerned, it's, it feels right. But you are going to be, after nine months, you're going to be a mother. And any which way you want to look at it, you are a mother to that child till you die. You will be reborn when that child is born. I promise you. Let us be responsible for ourselves. Davido, be responsible. 
that Adeleke family have to reach out to, to, to Anita all the way in New York and she turned them down because you see that's our culture. Bloodline is bloodline. It doesn't matter Anita, that baby is Adeleke. Bring the child forward. Anita said, <laughs> she circled like this and said, <laughs> why? Why do you put your family in that compromising position? For these guys, no. Davido, love your music. Talented. And I can see how they can fall for him. But he's not the one to touch. He hasn't got it in him right now. Right now, he has the God complex. Right now, he has the unconditional love of so many people that he doesn't know how to just love one person. He's too weak. He's too selfish. He's too careless. He's not even worth it. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, hit the notification button, my darlings, and I'll see you what? I'll see you sooner than later. Oh, 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 you just might not because mama is busy and packing. So there's going to be some gaps. You might not see me for a couple of days because I'm just unpacking, trying to get the studio together. Okay, my darlings?